Welcome to playing video games for the first time where I play a retro game I know nothing about. Alright, welcome back to another episode of playing video games for the first time. I'm the Crow 21 and this is episode 29. So today we have Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. Let me pull this cover up real quick. Okay, so before we start, let me make it clear that I do not like Metroid. I don't like it and I'll explain why. So the only Metroid I ever played was the first one for Nintendo. I was about six, maybe seven. I got it at either a Funko Land or a garage sale, I don't remember. But I had just the cartridge, no manual, so I had no idea what was going on. So it's also the first time I ever played a Metroidvania game. Anyone that's not familiar with that term, Metroidvania, basically it's Metroid, which is the first Metroid from Nintendo, and Castlevania. It's those two style of games, meaning it's two-dimensional, traditionally. And you start out with a smaller map, and as you get abilities, you know, like a double jump or a dash or sometimes bombs, you can open up the map bigger and bigger, it expands, and you get to um, other levels and other parts of the world. So I had no idea of that concept when I first played this. I remember playing for like an hour or two hours and just getting nowhere, just constantly dying. I thought it was very hard. Didn't understand what was going on. So one time I was playing the game, I had to be like a four hour session. And I remember it was time to eat dinner, so I had to stop playing the game. So I purposely died in the game just to get a password, shut the game off, had dinner, came back to it, turned it on, put the password in, and it was incorrect password. Let me just show you what a Metroid password looks like in case you don't know. So that's what it looks like. So out of all those numbers and letters, one of those is wrong. Now there's like thousands of combinations it could be. And as a little kid, I wasn't gonna sit there and try to figure it out. So I think I tried the password like once or twice and it just wasn't working. I was really pissed off and I was like, all right, let me load up an old password. Maybe I can get back. Because in that four hour session, I was really making progress. I was getting missiles. I was being able to roll. I was getting bombs. Like I was getting places. It just took me so long to find areas though because it's the whole game's kind of like, it's not really a maze, but it looks the same. Um, you get to other areas that look very different, but a lot of it looks the same. So it's very hard, very easy to get lost. So I put in an old password. Now this is my mistake. I always made the mistake of not writing down the password until I was done with the session for the day, I guess. So I put in the old password and I was so far back. I didn't have any of the abilities. I didn't have any of like the items or stuff that I had before. And the problem is I couldn't figure out where they were again. So now it almost was like starting from scratch getting to dead ends where I kind of remembered going places, but now I didn't have the items to get there. And I got so frustrated and so mad at this game that I just said I would never play Metroid ever again. Like this was little kid me, so pissed off, like just making a vow. And I've never played a Metroid game since. So I know there's been a lot of sequels too. I've missed out on them because I just stuck with my little kid vow and just honor that, that I'm never playing Metroid again. So I think my little kid self would be okay with breaking that right now just for the show because I play games for the first time and it's a game I've never played. I know it's a huge title and people love this game. So I'm assuming that this game is going to be like the old one, like the Nintendo one, just maybe updated graphics, maybe some quality of life improvements. I really have no idea though. Um, that's what I'm assuming. I know like the GameCube ones that get really three dimensional and stuff like that. So I'm assuming 2D, just upgraded graphics from the Nintendo one. And now looking at this cover, I remember it was like aliens you were fighting. So I don't really know because I never got that far in the game. But it, this looks like almost like a dinosaur alien in this picture and there's big green hands coming out so I don't know what the hell's going on. So here we go, breaking almost a 30 year grudge playing Super Metroid for the first time. I don't get a little movie going on in the beginning. I cannot believe I'm playing this right now. Metroid 3. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I thought this was the second one. Alright, let's get into this. Ooh, they have saves now instead of the password system. I'm already liking this better. So Samus is the name of the character. Samus is a female. That was a big reveal in the first one. I think it, I don't know if it pissed people off or what, because it was, everything was like male dominated. You know, there was like Mario, Mega Man, Bomberman, like always male and 
this being a reveal that it was a female at the end, I think it was a very cool idea. I don't know how people felt about it. I think it's very cool. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Okay. Mother Brain, that's right, that's the main villain. So they're, so they're called the Metroid. See that? I never even knew. Well, that doesn't look like the Nintendo ones. They must have ramp, uh, <laughs> vamped it up just for this. Game Boy maybe it was a Metroid 2 or something like that. So much history right now in this. Really? That's interesting. You know that's gonna go wrong. Exactly. Wow, these graphics are pretty cool for Super Nintendo right now. Wow, this looks so different. That's weird. So you hold R to, I'm gonna R1. R to aim up and L to aim down. Instead of just, oh, you could just press it. Oh, but then she runs. Okay. So I gotta get used to what I'm doing. And what the hell is that in the bottom? I mean, the top right. kicked so easily in this game right now. It moves a lot faster than the old one. Oh, oh my god, that's a map at the top? Quality of life improvement. <laughs> but can you see it big, though? Nope. I was trying to see if you could pause it and zoom in. Alright, it's better than nothing, though. So I didn't know how to draw maps back then. If I could draw maps, I could probably do better at the first one again if I ever tried it again. Very quiet. Oh, thought I had to fight it. Oh shit, what the fuck? Are we fighting? Oh my god, we're fighting. Started freaking crazy. Now, this is one of those fights where you're supposed to lose. I was doing good, now I'm doing terrible. I'm thinking I'm supposed to lose this fight. There's no way they started off this crazy.
can't dodge that every time. Oh shit. Wow, this game really started off like right into the action. Well, besides all that, all the reading before. Okay, see now the map. Okay, now I kind of like how they're doing it. Oh shit, it's hit, it's hit by steam. I'm so used to shooting the doors. <laughs> That's the only one I ever played, but shooting them doesn't do anything. I'm not losing any health when I get hit. Oh, holy shit. That's so cool, the screen- I'm sorry I'm blown away by this <laughs> simple stuff, but the screen tilting was so cool. I would say Planet Zebes. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Zebes? This is what I was talking about before, who doesn't know Metroidvania. So obviously I can get up here at some point probably, and I can break this wall. I just can't right now. So when I was a kid playing the, playing the first one, if that is even is the first one, so now I'm confused. Um, I just thought those were dead ends and I never thought to return there. Ah oh, yeah, here we go, shooting doors. <laughs> so it does look like the first one, meaning just the way that it's done, but it's... The graphics are so much better. See, so I can't go down there. Alright. I guess eventually I'll learn to roll. I think that was one of the first upgrades you get in the first one. And when I say first one, I mean Nintendo. If that's not the first one, I'm sorry for misspeaking, but to me, it's the first... Well, it's the only one. <laughs> so many different... So many paths I can't take already. Okay, so in the Nintendo one, you were you needed a rocket to blow up the red doors. I guess they're gonna keep that, maybe? So far, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> I feel like a little kid me right now is going, I told you so. <laughs> oh, cool. Were you able to do that in the first one? Oh, hey, Rose, those are platforms. In fact, something's gonna come out at any minute now. She moves very fast. Has been one enemy yet? That's so crazy. Okay, so I remember the elevators from the Nintendo one because that's when you got to an area that looked very different. And when you died, I believe you would restart on those other areas. Oh shit, this looks like the Nintendo one. The morphing ball. Oh shit. Fuck, they know I'm here now. Ah, 
Ah, oh, okay, so down, down, okay. So this is the roll. I guess it's called the morphing ball, though. See, so now this is what... <laughs> the problem with this game is, do I continue right, or do I go back up to those areas I missed? I guess I'll judge it off of the strength of the enemies. Find out if I'm in the right path or not. Okay, so obviously I'm not going the right way because I can't get through that door. But it's good. I'm happy. I'm happy to be blocked. So I know that I am as far as I can get right now. They did a good job making this eerie. I can't even remember if the first one had music or not. I guess it did, but I can't recall it right now. Weird that I couldn't go back to that door. Did I miss something? There we go, okay. That's what I needed, bombs. Like in the first one you do, but I guess in this one you could jump and shoot down. Maybe I never got that ability in the first one. Oh shit, that was a boss. I'm keep looking down at the controller. I feel like a, <laughs> I feel like such a dad playing, um, because it's I should be B and Y for like jump and shoot. Having it A and X is just throwing me off. That it's like the higher buttons on the Super Nintendo controller. Scythers. <laughs> so that that music was very familiar to me. I wonder if that was from the old one. Oh, now I can go through that. Okay, that was just so you get the missiles. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. There was that red door down there. I completely forgot about it. Already committed to this area. Shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm assuming that's energy. Yep, okay. So I know there's a lot of enemy drops, like they give you um, energy and missiles to refill both of those. Oh, God. <laughs> Having trouble controlling her. And this was a really long drop. So I'm gonna be climbing this for a while. God, people who loved the first one must have been pumped for this one. before. All oh, these things! <laughs> don't know what they're called. I if I can, don't want to go in red doors yet. Uh, let's just try it. I 
What time is five? Five to open a door? Oh my god. It's so expensive. Oh, some of these creatures I do recognize. Oh, you get two. Okay. So I know eventually you do get, you can get more than um, 99 energy. You get like, I don't know, booster packs? I don't know what to call them. What the fuck is this? Oh, shit, look at this map. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know how much I've wanted a map for the first game, and this is so cool that they added this. I thought, I looked at the top real quick, thought it said cafeteria. I was like, oh, that's strange. Oh, I so you get like boots, you get a new suit. Supply, that was the energy thing, okay. I wonder if you, I don't even know if you get all this in the other one or not. Alright, so do I have this forever now, or is it just if I go into this room? Forever, okay. Can't get the shoot button down. Alright, well that's very cool. I'm really happy with the map. Can I reach that? Nice. I got my five missiles back already. That's pretty good. Right, now we can roll into this. Oh. So eventually you get bombs you can lay and break through that. Well, they were able to in the other one. I assume it's going to be some of the similar things. Probably new things too. Oh, yeah, I tried this door. how you save. And then the save is marked on the map. I like these improvements. See, I feel like that would be a secret. Being able to shoot like that is really good. Oh, let's go down this little thing. Okay, gotta get those bombs. I think that's all I ever got in the... Oh, what the hell? I can't get out now. Oh, fuck. I'm supposed to fight him with bombs? Nope, it does not hurt him. I guess I gotta jump over him. Oh, bastard. He knew my he knew what I was gonna try to do. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Was he dripping or sweating? I can't dodge this guy. Oh, that was stupid. Oh shit, he's fighting me with no head! I don't trust it now. 
Wow, one energy. I almost got killed. Oh, nice. I know I couldn't figure out how to dodge that guy. There's no way you're supposed to take the hit. I think I have infinite bombs. Oh, this is just to get around here? Well, I wouldn't go back to the ship. Oh, because I could have went right? It's like remembering where all this stuff is. You definitely need like a notebook when playing this game. Oh, nope, I couldn't crawl. Alright, well I'm back at the ship. Alright, I decided. So, it turns out I'm liking this game. <laughs> Never thought I would have ever said that about a Metroid game. So I definitely will continue this game. I'm not that good at it though, so I don't know how far I'll get, but I'd like to see more of it. So look out for part two, it should be coming out um, not too far in the future. But the game really does, it looks a lot better, the graphics, the music's very eerie. It definitely was a big improvement from the Nintendo one, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what the other games did, but this one right now is 100% an improvement. If you ever played this game or have any stories, um, just leave them in the comments, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you next game. I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but this game made me want to try the Nintendo one again. My younger self is going to punch me in the face. <laughs>